Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm going to be tying a Duracell nymph. I caught a ton of brown trout at the Gunpowder, Latort, and also Yellow Creek on this fly. And I also caught a ton of brook and rainbows at Big Spring. So let's get to it. I have a size 16 jig hook in the vise and a 3mm slotted tungsten bead in gold to match that. I'm starting off by taking some wraps of 0 0.01 lead free wire, take like maybe 6 or 7, push them up into the bead, and for thread. I'm going to be using UTC Ultra Thread and Rusty Brown. I'm starting that behind the wire. And then I'm going to wrap it up onto the wire. Create a little bit of a taper. Now for the tail. I'm going to be using some pheasant tail, and I'm going to use six or seven strands. I'm going to make the tail about three quarters the length of the hook. About like that. I'm going to twist the pheasant tail. Set my scissors on top of the hook, trim, and that trims it nice and neat right there. Now I'm going to tie in my rib. I'm using ultra wire and copper in the brassy size. I'm going to tie this in right behind the wire and wrap it back. Now for the body, I'm going to use UV Ice Dub in brown. And this color is really cool. It has, a, has some brown, but it also looks a little bit purple-like. I'm going to create a really small dubbing noodle on my thread. Really thin dubbing noodle on my thread. Now we're gonna wrap it up, keeping a pretty slim body. A little bit too much. Pull that off. Now we're going to rip the fly with our wire. Helicopter it off. And then for some movement, I'm going to be using some black CDC. I'm going to grab the very tip. And I'm going to tie the very tip in. Now I'm going to take the CDC, 
I'm gonna make two wraps. And I'm gonna capture it. Pull it tight. Well, I'm gonna pull it tight. I'm gonna put my fingernail on the eye. And then I'm gonna grab the tip. I'm gonna pull. That'll really kind of seat it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Trim it off. Wrap a little bit back on top of the CDC. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rip the CDC to length. I'm gonna have some fibers shorter and then I have a little bit of longer fibers. Alright, now for a little bit of a hot spot, I'm going to use UV purple ice dumb. I'm going to put a very small dubbing noodle on my thread. And I'm going to take one, two, three wraps. And it won't look as clean, but it'll really help the durability if I take a few wraps over top of the dubbing. It'll still allow it to kind of fray out once a fish, once you catch a few fish on it. And it'll look nice and buggy, but it, will, it won't completely come all the way undone if I take those few wraps over top. Now I'm gonna whip finish. Seat the knot really well. So once again, I'm gonna put my fingernail on the eye. I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna pull. And that really seats materials and your thread really well. So now, you see it's not going anywhere, it's tight right there. Trim off the thread. And then also to help out durability, I'm gonna put some UV resin in thin. Just where that knot was. I'm going to hit it with the light. There you go. Nice Duracell. This fly is one of my confidence patterns now. I've caught a ton of fish on it. Brown, brook, rainbow, you name it. So tie up a few. You can use smaller or larger beads to help you get down and so tie up a few, have fun, and catch some fish.